this third and final installment of our look at common healthcare associated infections, we will examine a virus and several additional microbial pathogens. They include the following. Noroviruses are a group of viruses that cause gastroenteritis in people. Gastroenteritis is an inflammation of the lining of the stomach and intestines, causing an acute onset of severe vomiting and diarrhea. Norovirus illness is usually brief in people who are otherwise healthy. Young children, the elderly, and people with other medical illnesses are most at risk for more severe or prolonged infection. Staphylococcus aureus, also known as staph, is a bacterium commonly found on the skin and in the nose of about 30% of individuals. Most of the time, staph does not cause any harm. These infections can look like pimples, boils, or other skin conditions, and most are able to be treated. It is also of particular concern because there are now vancomycin intermediate Staphylococcus aureus and vancomycin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. These are specific types of staph bacteria that have developed resistance to the antimicrobial agent vancomycin. Tuberculosis is caused by a bacterium known as Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Transmission of Mycobacterium tuberculosis is a recognized risk to patients and healthcare personnel in healthcare facilities. Transmission is most likely to occur from patients who have unrecognized pulmonary tuberculosis or tuberculosis related to their larynx, are not on effective anti-tuberculosis therapy, and have not been placed in tuberculosis isolation. Vancomycin-resistant enterococci are specific types of antimicrobial-resistant bacteria that are resistant to vancomycin, the drug often used to treat infections caused by these bacteria. Enterococci bacteria are normally present in the human intestines and in the female genital tract and are often found in the environment. To learn more about healthcare associated infections, infection control, microbial pathogens, environmental or indoor air quality issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.